All right guys, today I'm gonna to talk to you about a lovely neighborhood that is super charming. You can find a home under 500,000 and it's close to downtown, so stay tuned. Welcome. This is where I talk to you all about Sacramento and dive deep into the neighborhoods so you can find the neighborhood that works for you. I'm a local realtor and I help people all the time thinking about relocating. So if that's you, don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to help you. Okay, first let's talk about the location. Very centrally located, so about 10 minutes from downtown, close to freeway access. Um, let's talk streets. So it's literally a rectangle on the map. To the north is going to be Broadway. To the east is going to be 65th. The south, 14th. And to the west is going to be um, Stockton. Yep, that's right. So that's your rectangle. That's the location. Okay, let's talk about the vibe of the location. I always say you gotta like the vibe, you drive around. It's something that you have to figure out for yourself. But the best way I would describe it is really charming, quaint, it's a very established neighborhood. The homes are really old. Um, some even go as far back as the 20s, but the main builds were in the 40s and 50s. So you'll see a lot of ranch style, cute Tudor, um, brick Tudor, some craftsman bungalows. And as far as um, the size of the homes, they're also going to be smaller because back in the day, everything was smaller. I mean, people had little coat closets. So um, as much square footage mainly, it's going to be around 1,700 square feet. And that will probably be like a 3-1. The thing with these older neighborhoods are they have a lot of um, only one bathroom. So it's a 3-1 or a 2-1 unless it's been updated. And that's an easy way that you can add appreciation to your home is by adding a bathroom. And it's a lot of times really easy to do. You can just add it to the laundry room. I always tell my clients that um, because that's part of the thing right now. Everyone wants the second bathroom. So uh, the homes are smaller, but they have bigger lots. They can be up to about 0.25. So you could even add say an ADU on it. And the city right now, since we have a lack of housing is really like pro ADU or you know, like a granny unit in back. Um, so that could be some possibilities too. music events, I think weekly. Um, there's also um, food truck events once a month. So it's a great place to come. You know, you see people jogging, biking, hanging out. Um, and next, I'm gonna take you to a few spots that Tahoe Park are known for. One is a great breakfast spot, and another, if you like barbecue, you're gonna wanna check it out. All right guys, if you want a great breakfast, even if you don't live in Tahoe Park, this is the spot to come, Bacon and Butter. On the weekend there is a line out the door. Uh, they have great biscuits with some honey and butter, right mom? And really delicious breakfast, really rich. So come with an appetite. Okay, my mom has a little addition. We're look right there, mom, to the left. Yes, yes uh, A yes. little addition to tell you about bacon and butter. Mom, yes. what well, do you like? Well, let me tell you, if you ever get a hankering for a cinnamon roll, they have them for five bucks that are as big as your head. And you tell them to warm that baby up and it's crispy <laughs> and they put lots of frosting on top. On Saturdays when I'm being a bad girl, I come and get me one of those before I go to fix that hair. <laughs> All right, she's a hairdresser. If that Delicious. Makes sense. All right, mom, you heard it here first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we 
we got Glenn doing his thing here on the barbecue. So Glenn, what's the what's the hottest ticket here? What what's the most popular thing on the menu? Our ribs are the most popular thing on the menu. And I've come here, and you guys have been sold out before. Is that the norm? Would you say? Yeah, usually in the evening, right between uh, probably five thirty and seven, we'll sell out. Every day. Uh, or the most weekend? days. Wow. Okay, and is there a secret sauce? Oh yeah, we have a secret <laughs> sauce. Can you buy the sauce? No, we don't sell the sauce. Okay, that's good. That's smart. Glenn's man in the barbecue. This chicken about ready? Yeah, it's just about there. Any tips to cooking good barbecue? Start with start start with great a great quality product. Good meat. That's right. Yep. Start at the top. And then do you marinate your ribs yeah, I long put time a, before? I put a dry rub on. A dry rub, yeah. okay. Because there's all different methods to doing ribs. Yes. Very nice. And once again, Glenn, tell me because I'm doing I have to shoot two different ways. Is this uh what's your biggest day here? The biggest day? Yeah, your most popular day. Friday. Friday. So if you come on Friday, you better come early because you're selling out by what it's, time? Well, it's usually it's between 5, before 5.30. Come in before 5.30. It's between that five, good. Between 5.30 and 7, we start selling out. All right. And, or a, or a, a spring day like today. Yep. Because usually it's not that busy this time of year, but a spring day like when the weather's I, nice, we get a lot of people coming in. I know. Everyone's ready to come out and about after all this rain. So come, come hungry and come early <laughs> to Momo Meat. right down below and you know if you are thinking about making a move to Sacramento don't hesitate reach out at some point you're gonna have to partner with a realtor might as well pick one like me that knows what they're doing all right and as far as summing up Tahoe Park awesome neighborhood full of charm centrally located established lots of things to do great barbecue and great breakfast all right see you on another video Bye.